I'm James Carl Morrison. I bitch about it so you fuckers can listen. <laughs> that's, I think that's going to be my saying from now on. Yeah, you know what you reckon? Nice, uh, nice ring to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's what I'm going to say for every single video ever from now on. Cool. <sighs> well, this is going to be a first. This is going to be my first ever movie review. I've just come back from watching it with my uh, two best chummies, and uh, this is my uh, my lasting my lasting thoughts, my lasting impressions. I've just watched. Alice in Wonderland. It's been a few weeks here in Britain. Uh, I know quite a few people have already done some video, a video on it. I just want to have my personal take. Eh. <laughs> uh, I know my mama says um, if you've got nothing, nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. But still, I feel I, I need to warn you all about this. Um, it's not a bad movie by any means, but unfortunately. Alice in Wonderland has no lasting impression, really. At least uh, in my view, whatsoever. I feel that the um, the Burton, uh, Tim Burton style and the Disney um, style just sort of clashed, really. Uh, sort of collided. Didn't really mix together, and this movie really didn't know what it wanted to be, I don't think. I don't think it was directed for children, I don't think it was directed for adults. And it's a shame. I really had um, high expectations uh, for the movie, you know, high hopes. You know, it would have been so cool if Burton was allowed like full reign. Maybe he did, but it doesn't. It just didn't feel like it. But if he had full reign on it and he just told an adult depiction of Alice in Wonderland, you know, sort of like dark and dreary, or if it was the shoe was on the other foot, if Disney had more control, control, wouldn't it have been cool if it was sort of like the never-ending story, this like fantasy sort of world? told by Tim Burton, you know, I, I, I thought either way it could have worked and Disney in its own right has released some really dark titles in the past, it, Alice in Wonderland included, Sleeping Beauty is my favourite, you know, it's so dark and gothic and, and the characters are somewhat very believable, very human, you know, um, not not Disney, uh, not, 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 comparable to the Disney movies uh, of today or even the 90s it was really it was a really good quality movie I'd rather you watch that of a nightmare before Christmas even though obviously Burton uh, produced rather than directed that I'd rather you watched that in 3d or, or sleeping beauty rather than this movie <laughs> um, the biggest problem I thought was it was too literal for Wonderland you know uh, you know, it was the CGI was was beautiful, very very well designed, very um, Burton esque feel to it. But still, it it just felt like it was all mapped out for you. It was it was laid on a plate and just presented. It started off dull, but it picked up, I should say. You know, so you know, be patient with it. But you know, the characters. Uh, just did, it didn't feel it didn't feel like an obscure magical fantasy land that was uh, confused confusing and like void of logic I mean the the actual language the dialogue uh, could have been a lot more uh, playful with words um, they could have been uh, a lot less uh, literal and um, you know we could have uh, let the audience piece to get uh, put the put pieces together and let Alice may perhaps think about what she's doing and where she's going and you know, it, just just make the audience think. You know, is this a, is this a fantasy uh, a fantasy world um, that's parallel with ours, or is it all in Alice's head? You know, make us think, make us make our own choices. I don't think they did that. Um, and that was it, really. Just this dull, horrible feeling that this movie could have been better throughout. And you know, without the three D gimmick, I really think it would have just been dull. I'm sorry to say that, but there you go. But there are uh, a few things that I hated about them. Uh, I'd, I'd say four or five. Yeah, five, four or five things I really fucking hated about this movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the first one. Okay, number one. Apparently in Wonderland, all animals can talk. Okay, all animals can talk. That's fine. Okay, the uh, the mice can talk. The uh, the birds can talk, you know. The the dodo and the and the pelicans can talk. The dogs can talk. The horses can talk. Caterpillars can talk. But the hedgehog and the massive huge ass hyena, 
they can't talk. <laughs> what? Did he not have anything good to say? You know? Okay, the hedgehog doesn't talk. Fine. All he's used for is a croquet ball from the queen. From the queen. So you know, whatever. Didn't have much to say. But the hyena plays a very big, big role. You know, he he he, he chases Alice at first. He rips up her arm. He infects it with whatever. Uh, it was not really explained very well, I don't think, but still, you know, she's injured from the hyena, plays a very big role, and then she has to steal the magical sword, um, used in the movie, from the hyena's den. And it just would have been so much better if they used dialogue, because apparently she just ends up sleeping or passing out in the den. I couldn't tell, because unfortunately this is the actress's worst scene. Really, um, she didn't play a, a, ba a role badly at all. In fact, she was pretty hot. And uh, yeah, she's playing a 20-year-old. I should know. Not she's not 12 or anything. And yeah, no, no, need, no need to call the police and put me on the register. <laughs> anything? No. Um, but it, it just was a weak scene. Uh, I know she was like playing and interacting with a CGI dog, uh, but still, whatever. Um, could have been dialogue to explain um, why the hyena felt in the end that he needed to help Alice and make her uh, help her escape from the, the clutches of the Red Queen and for that matter why it healed her wound um, it, apparently his saliva he licks the wound better you know, which, it sounds uh, like the obscurity I wanted but honestly you know, it could have been explained better if, 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 it was, if there was dialogue or better um, acting in interaction with the characters to explain that the hyena is now on her side it just would have been better uh, number two too much CGI and I know this is a common complaint but I mean the CGI looked beautiful uh, it was a highlight of the um, of the movie uh, the CGI uh, the CGI was great and the 3d effect glasses uh, were wonderful yeah it, it made it a treat you know to go to the cinemas um, but there was a little bit too much CGI. Um, you know, I preferred a little bit of puppetry. And I think the worst bit, the worst bit, was one of the main villains um, climbs up a horse. He uh, mounts a horse. And it was done in CGI. Are you telling me a, a, a paid actor can't be taught to fucking mount a horse? Fucking slackers, you know. I mean, that was that's the least complaint, to be honest. That's that's the one, you know. That you know, whatever. Not it's expected these days anyway for it all to be computer graphics and all that shit. So whatever, fine. Let that pass. Number three, and this is the biggest complaint, to be honest. The biggest. You have two opposing factions in Wonderland, right? Two rulers. You have the Red Queen whose um, sort of gimmick is the uh, sort of like the playing cards, the, the Queen of Hearts, sort of like the Indy cartoon, all her soldiers are like, uh, you know, in cladded um, card armour, like all made up to look like a deck of cards, you, you know you know what I mean. Her opponent, the, uh, the good queen, um, she's the white queen, she's referred to the white queen, and her, her style, her gimmick is, um, she's the uh, the White Queen on the chessboard. All her soldiers and like all her um, people are, are, are designed at, um, from chess pieces. Here's my complaint. What happened to the black deck and what happened to the black pieces? Why couldn't you just stick to, to the, the chess gimmick or the, the card gimmick? What's wrong with fucking black pieces? I, I, oh, what, is, is, I, I, if, the, if you couldn't, if you, you know, if, if the evil queen was black, you know, would that be too cliche? And it, what, if the good queen was black, would that just be like mixed messages? You know, fucking hell, there's nothing wrong with the colour fucking black. And for that fucking matter, where are the fucking black people? There's not a single black person in the entire fucking movie. And I'm the last person really in the whole world that will rip out the race card. You know, it's just I just feel it's not my battle. But still, fucking hell, a 2010 Disney movie doesn't have a single person in it? Fucking crazy! And it's like the Princess and the Frog. That has an all-black African-American cast. I think that's I think that's wrong as well. Just as wrong. Why couldn't they have cast it with the appropriate actors? The people who are going to be decent for the role. And, okay, overall, the actors who were in the film, they weren't that bad. Johnny Depp, he was a lot.